I just want to bring uh, our viewers now some pictures that we do have from inside the aircraft, uh, taken, uh, of course, presumably by a passenger on their phone. Uh, and uh, I think you can see there a glimpse of probably the fire that was at the front of the aircraft that we've been witnessing from uh, the other side, of course, from those distant CCTV images. And, uh, of course, it's short, it's on loop. You also see some of the smoke that's uh, gathering at some point later on. Uh, within the fuselage and the cabin. Um, Tim Atkinson, air traffic investigator, is, is with us. And Tim, does this sort of confirm to you any details that we've been uh, learning or, or, or putting together over the last hour or two? Give us your take on, on this first image that we've had from inside the cabin. Well, yeah, it's it's not the kind of environment we've been looking at in, in the imagery of this very well-developed fire uh, of the aircraft after the event. Uh, and in fact, I've also just received a, a, an image, which I'll, I'll maybe send into you if a moment if I can, of the outside of the aircraft, um, just as the evacuation is, is finishing. And it's a much more benign environment um, than one might have expected to see. Yes, there's some smoke, of course, but not so much smoke that visibility is impaired and understanding where you are in your environment uh, is difficult. Um, the passengers appear to be relatively calm in those images. That's another important thing. Um, so uh, it, it sort of emboldens my view that, that this is, is a very uh, successful evacuation, clearly. Um, uh, and one of the reasons for that is that the, the uh, imagery we've been looking at of, of this very uh, fierce, very intense fire uh, developed uh, well after the uh, evacuation was complete.